So, you've seen the gorgeous looking Techno Camo 19 Pro 5G and 4G versions. How about the regular Camo 19? Looks pretty much the same, I know, but this is actually the more affordable Techno Camo 19. It is the base version of the series with the same design but toned down in a few areas, especially in specifications, which you may or may not find impressive when compared to its predecessor, the Camo 18, as it is looking a lot like a slight downgrade. The Techno Camo 19 is priced at 109,000 Naira, making it the most affordable of the recently released Camo 19 series. It shares a lot in common with the higher Camo 19 Pro, sporting pretty much the exact same design with some subtle differences in build quality, which we'll take a look at soon enough. Now for its box, we see a smaller packaging when compared to the Pro versions, but there's really nothing lacking in its accessories as it comes complete on that front. With the only exception being that it comes with an 18W charger, which is understandable seeing that it's a more budget device. Before we talk about some of the design and feature differences, when you take a look at the specs, you can outrightly tell it's very familiar to a recently released techno device. If you are thinking of the Spark 9 Pro, you are correct. This has the same Helio G85 processor, no high refresh rate display just like the Spark 9 Pro, only differs in design and camera specifications, slightly actually, from the techno Spark 9 Pro. But let's come back and focus on the features of the techno Camo 19 for a while though I can't guarantee I won't mention the Spark 9 Pro Camo 18 later in this video. But let's move forward. The Techno Camo 19, as we've already established, sports the exact same design as the Pro versions, even down to its display. This is the sea salt white color option. There is an attractive green colored one which looks really stylish. This gets a matte textured rear finish piece of plastic but has that premium feel. The color is not actually plain white, as its color changes slightly depending on the lighting angle. From the Techno Camo branding on the rear, you can tell there is no OIS on this one like with the Pro. It however sports a similar camera configuration as the Camo 19 Pro 5G with the exception of OIS. The frame is more matte textured and feels less premium than the glossy one on the Pro. Also it is slightly curved and not as flat, so it can't stand. But it does come with the exact same ports and buttons placement. And yes, no stereo speakers here either. On the display side of things, we see the exact design and display quality as on the Pro versions. It is that vibrant full HD LCD display with those extremely slim bezels and a center hole punch camera. The bezels are actually the slimmest for any device at this price point, and if not for the thicker chain, it would have achieved perfect symmetry. Now, the display quality is great, vibrant, and also bright enough for outdoor use, only that sometimes it's slow to respond to change in lighting situation on auto brightness. As a step down from last year Camon 18, we don't get a 90Hz display which might not be a deal breaker and can be mostly attributed to the choice of processor which does not support high refresh rate and 1080p resolution at the same time. So it's one of the two, either a high refresh rate display or a 1080p display. You can't have the best of both worlds with the G85, but the G88 on its predecessor does that. But I can't say that was an overall better processor. So we can take comfort in the fact that while we lose the high refresh rate, we have a more optimized and stable processor that is when compared to the Helio G88. Now we can as well address its performance since we are already talking about the processor. The MediaTek Helio G85 is a good one for this price point and you have the likes of the Samsung Galaxy A23 and Redmi Note 11 to contend with, both having the Snapdragon 680. Performance here is stable and I'll say lag free. Only real complaint I can have is the lack of high refresh rate, but everything pretty much works fine and that shouldn't bother you. Gaming here is going to be as expected for this price point. Most games will run fine on medium graphics settings and mostly lag free. When we take a look at the software we see Android 12 and iOS 8.6, this is the only other device at this moment aside from Samsung at this price point with Android 12 right out the box. Can't say iOS has improved on the bloatware and ads front, we still get plenty of that here and pretty much more aggressive than on the Pro versions, but that is to be expected since it's the significantly more affordable one. Also nothing a little uninstalling, blocking and disabling can't fix. You'll find iOS pretty stable and bug free with uninterrupted user experience if you take away the ads and bloatware apps. Battery life on the Techno Camo 19 is as expected from a 5000 mAh battery powered Techno device. You can expect at least a day of use without reaching for your charger. As I already mentioned, you get an 18 watts fast charger with the Techno Camo 19. Onto the camera specifications, we have a 64 megapixel triple rear camera setup, with the other cameras being a 2 megapixel macro and depth sensor. For a selfie camera, we retain the same 16 megapixel camera from the Camon 18, which again is less than the 32 megapixel on the Spark 9 Pro. I did promise I can't guarantee not mentioning the Spark 9 Pro. 
while it does good with the selfie camera and images appear sharp especially with the regular selfies portrait selfies are slightly lacking in sharpness and especially absence of hdr processing for its rear camera i'd say it mostly does fine especially with hdr photos look sharp and well processed with the right amount of saturation we don't get the sky shop mode here like we do on the pro versions it also does great for night mode photography if you ever need to capture night scenes for video recording it doesn't get ois and can only record at maximum 2k 30 frames per second okay hello youtube so this is the techno cam on 19 this is a video from its 16 megapixel selfie camera which can only shoot 2k 30 frames per second um let me know what you think about its video quality and then also its microphone quality it has dual noise cancelling microphones from viewfinder i can't see any is there processing there but maybe there will be afterwards but let me know what you think in the comment section the techno camera 19 is a great looking device design wise and while it has the same processor as the spark 9 pro it has better design build quality and display its specs are just about okay for its price I like that it has a lot of similarity to the Camo 19 Pro, especially in design. That's all from me on the Techno Camo 19. Do give this video a like if it was helpful. Also, consider subscribing to the channel. Peace.